Hey guys, LBF back here, back again with another Vans review. Today I have a pair of Eras off the vault line. This is part of the Takahashi collection, and this is from the Hirachi pack. Colorway is a Mustang. These are a size 12, and these retail for 140. Comes in your awesome drawer style box here with all the Taka accents on them. You got the feather logo here on the top, as well as on the back. And then of course your small vans details throughout. Also comes in the dust bag here with the Taka logo on it as well. These just dropped, uh, I believe on October 1st. This is the Hirachi collection that released with two eras and two skate highs. The Mustang colorway was for the eras as well as the skate highs and then the other colorway was the Bordeaux color which is like a darker brown maroonish kind of color. I've actually been waiting for these guys to drop for a while. Crazy bottoms on these you can tell. This shoe has so many details on them it's crazy. Originally I was trying to pick up the Bordeaux colorway, the brown one. I really liked how the toe box came out here and that one was in a pebble leather. But once I finally saw pictures of these ones with the details and everything, I definitely like the materials on this colorway a lot more. So let me go over the colorway as well as the materials here. So we have this really nice kind of khaki color here, this Mustang on the toe box, the tongue, as well as on the heel. This is in a really nice pig suede material. It's almost like a pig nubuck. It's very short suede. Very nice high quality suede. As you can see on the toe box here, we have this really cool design. This triangular pattern here. Definitely has a tribal or native theme to it, as most of Taka's work does. He's very influenced by the Native American culture. Lots of earth tones going on here. Moving on to the mid portion of the shoe here, we have this nice woven textile in a blue and a white color. It's the same blue as we see here on the Vans tag on the side, this really dark blue. And on the back of that tag, we see the vault logo. Also, another feature on the shoe, which is crazy, is these eyelets here. They're all different except for the top eyelet and this one right here are the same. They're like this sun kind of gear looking. There you go. And then we have the silver and then one with the dots and this one on the bottom is pretty much just plain. Comes with your rawhide laces here and these are kind of like a bluish tint to them on the inside, that lighter part. And then of course the brown on the outside. Matches the shoes very well. Moving on to the heel, once again, we have that suede, as I mentioned, but we have this kind of like an eye. It looks like an evil eye almost on the back here in this like diamond pattern. There's also this really nice pull tab here, which is in this, I guess, raw leather here, or raw hide on the back and then on the front here. It's kind of like a really plush leather. I'm not exactly sure what kind of leather it is. It's really nice. If you look closely, you can see this rigid look here on the trim. We've seen this on many Taka models before. And you also have that trim here on the toe box, as well as on the tongue. While we're on the topic of the tongue, we have this really cool graphic here. And it's that Taka feather graphic again, which is stitched in blue and you have the white cross pattern. Perforations throughout the tongue, toe box, and then on the heel, pretty much in all the suede portions of the shoe. Moving on to the outsole here, this is a very subtle off-white outsole. And if you look very closely, it's very hard to tell, but you can see a checkerboard pattern. It's super subtle. It's in a white color. Like I said, the details on the shoe are just crazy. 
As I shown you guys before, we have this outsole here in the waffle grip. All kinds of colors going on here. Dark blue, dark brown, this like tannish color, then a lighter blue, your gum color, and then that light tan color again. Extra laces for these shoes are these blue rope laces, and this is the same color that we see on the tag as well as on the woven part. Really nice laces for these. I actually might even put these ones in, I'm not too sure. Both of these laces are awesome. Moving into the inside of the shoe here, we have a pig skin leather here for the collar, which is definitely a really nice leather, very soft. That same leather is featured in the insole here, and it's a leather back insole, but it's a little bit different than the other ones. This is like the Taka style insole. See it better on this one. It has like this point to it, or like a widow's peak kind of thing here. It's pretty cool. It says Vans Takahashi off the wall since 66. And then of course you have that feather graphic again. Other than that, pretty much canvas throughout on the inside. The rest of the footbed is in canvas and the walls here on the inside are in canvas. The footbed is ortholite as far as I know. It's definitely comfortable, very soft. Really love how this shoe came out. I really like when Taka does his take on classics, more so than when he brings out these new models, which are pretty crazy. I mean, every now and then you get some good ones, but there have been some misses, definitely. But yeah, I really like how these came out. $140 is pretty steep though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not exactly sure if this shoe is worth $140. I definitely love this shoe, don't get me wrong. But as far as the materials go, canvas on the inside, your basic vulcanized outsole, it definitely could have been a lot cheaper. Obviously with Taka's name on these, you're gonna see a higher price tag and it's been climbing ever since. Ever since he started his line, so no surprise if these are gonna be reaching like 200 next time we see an era Taka collab. Oh yeah, and on the heel tab here we have the Takayashi heel tab there, which is also in that off-white color. The skate highs in this pack did retail for, I believe, $180, so $40 more. I was pretty psyched on the skate highs at first, but seeing them in person, they do have a different shape to them. The toe box is a little bit bulkier, which I'm not really a fan of. Still a dope shoe. All the shoes in this pack are awesome. The other eras feature different materials. Like I mentioned, I like the materials on this one a lot better, but the toe box on the other one was like a pebble leather. And then the mid portion of the shoe here was in a wool. Wool is not really a material that I'm crazy about just considering when it gets wet, it really smells. It kind of looks wild. And then as far as the pebbled leather, pebble leather will crease a lot easier than the suede so I was psyched that these had suede they'll look a lot cleaner a lot longer you can go ahead and find these at select vault dealers these just released like I said so hopefully you can still find your size out there well I hope you guys like this review these do fit true to size by the way and be sure to stay tuned for the on feed.